Good morning guys, so it's about 9 a.m. right now and I decided like two seconds ago that I was going to film. I'm going to go to the gym this morning after I eat breakfast and I have work 1 o'clock to 5.30 and then other than that I have no idea what I'm doing today but I thought I would show you guys what I end up doing, so... So Dave's Killer Bread just came out with some bagels and I got the berry one which just has a couple different kinds of berries in it and I really like it, they're really good. So I just got back from the gym. It's like 11.20 now. I did like 25 minutes on the elliptical and then the big like exercise room, there was class in there. So I did some weight machines and stuff. And I was like, I swear the only like female um, in the weight area. Like everybody was like these like big men and I was just like doing my assisted pull-ups and I was like, Wah! which is like, meh, I don't know. I don't really care, it's fine. Um. Anyways, it was just kind of odd that there was like no women doing weights, I don't know. But anyways, so I did that and then I did some abs and stuff in like a floor area that they had. And now I'm home and I'm gonna shower and I never use heat on my hair, but I'm gonna have to blow dry my hair because I have work. I'm gonna make some lunch. I probably will just make a smoothie, so. Oh, I got this new shampoo yesterday because I ran out of my other one and I need a different kind for the summer because I thought my own one's just like too heavy. And I'm still kind of unsure about this brand, but I have did some research on this line and it said it was like vegan cruelty free from my understanding. But if anyone has any other knowledge on this, please let me know. But that's what I am gonna use today. I blow dried my hair straight so it isn't a frizzy mess. It's still kind of damp right now, but I have some time. So I'm just gonna let the rest like air dry and I'm gonna go make my smoothie now. So yesterday I went to go make a smoothie and we didn't have any frozen bananas So I just have this like blended almond milk protein mix in the fridge that I'm gonna use when I make my smoothie right now So I'm just gonna be using that and then I'm gonna add some frozen bananas and frozen cherries and top it with some good stuff I just made this smoothie with that leftover mix I told you about so I had chocolate protein in there cacao almond milk and I think that's it. And then I blended that with some pumpkin seeds and that's total game changer. I've never done that before. Ricky wants some. Um, and it's so good. I tasted it just from a blender and I added a little bit of almond butter because it's the end of it, so it's really hard. And frozen cherries and frozen banana and I topped it with peanuts, chopped dates, and some dark maca chocolate. And it's so good, but add pumpkin seeds to your smoothies, man. It's Fucking great. Okay, kind of in a rush because I need to go in like two minutes, um, but I'm off to work I'm not gonna be able to film anything there like at all, but Yeah, so it's like 1230 1240 right now, and I'll be back at 530 so Doing well, so I just got off work and my phone is steaming because my car is so hot And I bought a couple of things today for my mom, so I'm gonna give that to her I haven't gotten anything yet, which is shocking because I want to buy everything in the store so uh, it's like 5.40 right now. I'm so hungry. I'm actually about to die. It was really slow today, so we were just standing a lot, and my feet really hurt, but it was a good day of work, and I'll be back soon. And I have the next three days off, so that's really nice. But yeah, so I'm heading home. I just got back from work a few minutes ago, and I'm upstairs because I changed into something comfortable because I'm pooped. And I gave my mom her things that I got her. I got her two things of Swedish dish towels, which are those like foamy sponge-like things. I'll insert a video here. And she only had one and she lost it. And she absolutely loves those and I thought they were cute, so I got them. And then I got these towels that I've been eyeing for a while. They're like strawberry and blueberry like dish towels and they're really cute, so I got those for her too. Well, like for the kitchen and stuff. So I just gave her those. I'm gonna go eat some hummus and crackers while my mom makes dinner and I'm ready to slump. It's been a long day, so yeah. I don't know why my face looks so pink right now, but I just ate dinner and I FaceTimed Ethan for a little bit because I called him before and 
yeah, what I had, I just had that rice and my mom made some sauteed veggies with beans and started with avocado and salsa and a tortilla and it was really, really tasty and I'm very full now. So I'm not doing anything tonight. I have my surgery slash procedure tomorrow. Oh, sorry, I'm laying on my bed. Um, so I have that tomorrow. So I have to be in Charlotte, which is like 30 minutes away at 8 or 7.40ish. So that sucks. Um, I'm just anxious about this procedure. Like, I have to like laser around the eye. And I just, when I they did the exam, I like couldn't keep my eye open. So now I'm really concerned that I'm not gonna be able to keep my eye open long enough for them to like do it. But um, we will, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go to bed fairly early tonight because I do have to get up really early. Um, but it's 7.08, probably gonna read, probably call Ethan again and have some dessert slash sweet snack later. I might watch something, I'm not sure. I might clean my room. I'll just chillin' in. I was gonna go to American Eagle after work because I really need to get clothes for work. I've gone to so many thrift stores and I can't find like what I'm looking for because I need collared shirts that are like white, black, blue and I need black pants, like black jeans. I can wear denim but I need, I want a pair of black pants and I haven't been able to find those at a Goodwill or anything near me and I really don't want to go to like a fast fashion kind of place but I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out how to channel what exactly I need like without contributing to fast fashion when I'm in like somewhat of a time crunch. So if anyone has any suggestions for that, let me know because I also am not trying to spend like $60 on a pair of pants. Cause like there's a lot of online places that are ethical, but they're super expensive and I need to try on pants. I can't like just order them and hope for the best. Um, so anyways, I think I'm probably gonna clean my room right now and then read and you know, chill but anyways that's what i was saying i was gonna go to american eagle afterwards but i was really hungry and i was so tired which sounds like this is me complaining i'm sorry but i was so i just went right home yeah i'm happy to be home it's kind of stormy it's nice my mom was already so excited about the swedish dish towels but she just told she just texted me and she was like i love my towels and she was like i told emma not to use them it's really funny because my sister will destroy many things another thing about those swedish dish towels i feel like i've talked about them kind of a lot so I'm, i apologize but i when i was looking at them they're very eco-friendly and they're much better than using sponges and they work just as well because sponges have to be you know thrown out more frequently whereas these you can put them in either the dishwasher on the top rack or you can put, even put them through like a laundry machine um a laundry machine a washing machine and you can just let them air dry um but they're super eco-friendly and a lot of them are made out of like recycled materials and i think they're cool so yeah i just wanted to add that about the swedish dish shop let's see if these nudes are ready now <laughs> I just got off the phone with Ethan and I got myself my little dessert and I'm going to read for a little bit and eat this. I'm not sure if I've already mentioned this in one of my videos, but the book I'm reading right now is Breaking Her Fall by Stephen Goodwin, which is Ethan's stepdad, so I'm almost done with it, but I'm so excited that I finally got to read this. Ethan brought this down here when um, he came at the beginning of the summer, and so I'm finally reading it, and I'm so excited. Um, I've really enjoyed this book, so you should definitely check this out. Uh, I feel like my vlogs get really boring because I just work and work out and I just like run errands and then the last like four hours of my day is spent in my room because I don't know I like to spend my evenings winding down and like reading a book and sometimes I'll watch a show I've really been into reading though I haven't really watched much because during school it's a different story but like when I'm home I like to read more and I've been drawing a bit more lately, so I probably will do that at some point tonight. It's like 9.20 now. I've been talking to Ethan and just chilling in bed. And it's really nice because I'm really tired. <laughs> so, 
So it's about 11.15 right now. I just took all my vitamins and stuff and I'm gonna brush my teeth and get in bed and read for a bit longer even though that's what I've been doing all night. I've had moments of just like laying here, but uh, I never ended up drawing. I just was reading and I've been talking to Ethan and I think I'm going to, um, yeah, brush my teeth and get ready for bed and probably go to sleep pretty soon because I have to wake up at like 6.15 tomorrow because like I said, I have my procedure for my eye. So I'm really not looking forward to that, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and good night.